And it really is kind of remarkable how much of a difference just that little adjustment can make. And this can be, this can be the key if the fish are keyed in on baits that aren't V-waking on the surface. Or if the fish are just down a little deeper than they will, you know, then they will be if they'll to come up and take a plug off the surface. Now if you find yourself in the situation where a Danny plug is diving with the loop in the original position, in the straight position, you can also bend the loop down to bring it up to the surface. This plug swims properly, so if I do that, I'm just going to cause it to spiral out of control and it's not going to fish properly. Now the way I rig a Danny plug, uh, a traditional Danny, the hook hangers are close enough together where that if you use split rings, the hooks will marry. So I use three OVMC hooks and I cut them so that they can't intertwine and then I just put a, a hookless flag on the, t on the tail and that's it. I'm standing on a beach in a complete darkness. It might not appear to you that I'm complete darkness, but that's only because we're using the infrared lens. I'm going to have my cameraman shut it off so you can see what I can see. Basically nothing. I'm in pinch darkness, so we'll put the light back on. The light is really, really tiny, so it doesn't really affect what I see. Uh, but I want to show you how easy it is to change the plugs in the dark without you know, a light or anything else. I know this takes a little bit of experience and the more years you're doing this, the easier it will get. But like I said, it's dark. I can't see anything without the light. I can basically just touch this clip. And these clips, that this is tactical angler clip. I can feel it or any other clip. Um, they make it easy to change the plug. I can change the plug without looking in complete darkness, open my bag, Grab another plug. Today, I thought I might take a moment to go over some blanks and the actions on the blanks, where you might want to use them, how you might want to use them, and the nuances that are going to help you either cast further, be a more durable rod, give you uh, more sensitivity, um, just overall help you out. Whether it be a factory rod, store bought, El Cheapo, or even a custom rod. All right, there's a couple of different types of actions that we get involved in. Um, one of the ones that's most prevalent here on the East Coast, uh, striper fishermen, like a moderate action rod. And when I talk about different actions, uh, the action on a rod, a faster action rod, is going to bend in the top third of the blank. A moderate action is going to bend more into the handle. And what that does for you is a faster action ride is going to give you possibly more distance on your cast. Um, you, you need to be able to know how to operate that rod. If you have a fast action rod, some guys just can't get used to that and they never get the potential out of the rod. So people ask me where to fish live eels, you know, uh, when to fish live eels. Really the time to fish live eels is any time during the year. Uh, you know, when, the, when they first start in April or May, all the way to December is a good time. Um, but the prime times for me are when the fish are like, uh, and when the water temperature is a little bit warmer and there's not those bigger baits, like there's not herring around, bunker around, you know, those bigger juvie weak fish, you know, baits like that. You know, they're bigger baits, the bass are really aggressive on those baits, and they're keying up on those baits. And, you know, you really don't even have to throw an eel because you're throwing darters or whatever to imitate that bait. And, you know, those plugs will work better than the eels a lot of times. Um, I love, my favorite time to throw them is like on, uh, during the summer. Um, when, the fit, when the water temperatures are like in, in the low 70s, um, the fish are a little bit more lethargic at that time, and I do some really big fish in, in Montauk at that time of year. Um, it's a lot of work to catch those big fish, but the eels will help you out to catch them. Um, you know, they, they see that eel coming through the water at that time of year, and they'll just pounce on it. <laughs> 